everybody and welcome back to Melissa's Corner. Um, this is a take two because I was just previously trying to do a taping and I got attacked by a bat. That's what you get for sitting outside with trees. I thought it was a bird but it kept coming back and then it's like it's a bat. And so I said a bad word and I got up and I ran so I thought I probably should retape this. So here I am. Um, so if I get up and I run you'll know the bat is back. Anyway, I wanted to come on today and share with you. Um, I had mentioned Kirk Geiger in my last video. I'm late to the game. He's obviously big and happening. Um, a lot of people have already discovered him. I've seen his uh, people doing reviews on his shoes and his handbags on YouTube. And I've looked at his website. He's over in the UK. Um, he would be considered high street luxury, contemporary luxury. Um, things like Coach, Michael Kors, Kate Spade, that kind of a, of a luxury handbag. Um, so they're not by any means cheap, but they're affordable. And uh, that's the nice thing. So a lot of people are, have access to it. Um, I went to Nordstrom's and found that they had one bag. And the one bag, I, that's the one I wanted. So I was so happy that they had it. Um, so I wanted to share it with you today. I've, I'm really excited about it and um, I can't wait to carry it. What I bought was, went to Nordstrom's, like I said. I hadn't been to Nordstrom's in like forever and ever and ever. I do a lot of my shopping online um, and I don't know, it's just easier and with COVID and stuff. But I saw that they had one there was available to bring home. So I thought, I'm gonna go. So I went, checked it out and brought it home. So this is Kurt Geiger of London. I cannot wait to see other things that he comes out with. Um, like I said, I'm late to the game and everybody's been talking about Teddy Blake. I haven't seen a Teddy Blake yet. Not in real life, I call it out in the wild. So I haven't seen it out in the wild, anybody carrying one um, where I live. And um, I haven't seen a Kurt Geiger either. So. This was my first, and let me tell you, you guys all know, I love the smell of handbags, and this is no different. Take a look at this. This is the Kirk Geiger XXL in the soft lamb's skin leather, and it is so soft. It's like a pillow. It's just fluffy, and it's so, it feels like it would be kind of a thin and maybe easy to scratch, but I think it's gonna wear really, really well. Just gotta be gentle with it. I mean, I'm not real gentle on my bags. Yeah, I throw them around a bit, but of course I'm not gonna like let a cat or a dog scratch on it or put it to where it's gonna be in harm's way. But I absolutely love it. And you know I smell all handbags. And this is no different. I love it. It smells so good. I wanna bring it up so you can see that eagle. That eagle is encrusted with some rhinestones. If I move it just right, maybe you can see some of the sparkle in here. But it's just gorgeous. And look at that leather. The side of the handbag, you can put just about anything in there. It has a nice, hard, solid base. This is like cardboard. I wouldn't probably put anything super, super heavy in it, but it's gonna hold its shape really well. And on the back, it is stamped. Kurt Geiger, London. It has just a flat, smooth back, none of the quilting. There's no pocket back here, so it's just gonna be nice and easy here. But look at these straps. Can you see these straps? Uh, these are the gold tone. Um, it's kind of more of a, a maybe an antique, tarnished looking kind of a gold. It's not a real bright, brassy looking gold like some golds are. And it has the leather here on top in the black just gorgeous so of course goes over the shoulder carry like so but the cool thing if you want to go over the shoulder boop, or you can just wear it to where it hangs right at your hip but you can also go like I said over the shoulder and it's awesome I just dig these straps these straps are just awesome and then the bag itself when you open it it has magnetics right here there's two circles nice smooth um, top right here inside the bag i still have some of the, the cardboard i'll pull out and i have some paper in here too yay stuff 
nothing. Anyway, there's just there's this compartment right here. This is the one that faces away from the body. Nice huge big you can put your iPad in here your nice big chunky wallets you do your makeup it's all gonna fit and then you have this second compartment so there's this wall in between got this right here and then there's this pull flap here with a nice shallow pocket to where you could maybe put your cell phone anything that you need to reach for um, is all gonna be in there and then of course it's stamped inside Kurt Geiger, London, and it says, I am leather. And it definitely is. It smells so good. And then the shot it, just flip it over, line up those magnetics. It's just gonna pop shot right there. I've got my measuring tape, so I can give you a few measurements here. I know the measurements are on the website, but you know, sometimes it's nice just to get a, another measurement here. It is five and a half inches at the base. And of course you can pop it out more if you need to um, you know accommodate more things and let's see in height we're about ten and a half inches and in width we're at 14 and a half so that's a good size bag that's why it's called the xxl i'm sure is because you know it's an extra large bag so i'm going to stand up so that you can see on my body i've got the straps doubled here course there's nothing in it so it's nice and soft and you know I can put so much stuff in here I can't wait and then if I want to drop one strap down drop one and then I can go see and it's right at the hip level it's nice and cute and just hangs there or you can go the crossbody it's kind of big for crossbody but if you needed to have hands free for any reason you know Go ahead, do it. So anyway, I was online and I was looking at other Kurt Geiger handbags. He's got some gorgeous handbags. Um, I know there's some um, people on there that had get the really super, super high end bags like the Chanel's and the Lulu's. Um, I'm one, I can't afford either of those right now, but this to me is like a great dupe. It looks a lot Chanelish. Chanelish? Is that a word? I don't think so. Chanelisk? Hmm, I don't think so either. But you know what I mean. And it kind of is Lulu-ish to where, um, you know, you kind of get that vibe, the vibe of high-end luxury handbag, but it's at a really, really great price. Um, you can check it out on his website or you can go to Nordstrom's and take a look. They had a lot of other bags and a lot of other sizes. This is just the one that I chose. And like I said, I absolutely love it. Um, I found that they have shoes too. Of course, that's what he's known for. He's from the UK and he has his own stores and everything over there. Um, I'd love to be able to go to one of those, but um, maybe someday I'll get over there across the pond, as they say, and get to go shopping. But um, I found the shoes that match this purse. They're actually a pool slide, and they still have that Chanel vibe. They have the, um, you know, the, the vibes of Gucci. They, they have just a, it matches this perfect. It's just awesome. So I kind of snuck and I ordered the shoes. They're not a bad price. Um, they're almost out in sizes. They come in green, pink, red, black, and I don't know, did I say green? If not, green. Um, but I got the black and it has the quilting just like this. And on each shoe, it has the eagle. And they're called the Mina, M-E-E-N-A, Mina. And I ordered those, so I'll be um, sharing those with you when I get them. I know it's in the season, but hey, I wear stuff like that all the way until it snows here. Um, and then once it snows, forget it. You're in boots, you're in boots for months, you're in boots for three, four, or five months. So yeah, I wear them and enjoy them and I'll have them for next season. Um, it's a good investment in your wardrobe along with this right here. This is something you're looking at or maybe you've always wanted a Chanel or a Lulu or something of that category. This is something for you to consider and take a look at. I'm in love with it, I really am. And my husband, he loved it too. He said it's very classy. Um, so that means a lot 
I like it when my husband likes my handbags. Um, not necessarily does he love every single one of them, but when he does, that's a plus and added bonus. So check out Kurt Geiger of London. You won't regret it. Thanks. Bye-bye.